Orion Academy contracts with Valley Transport to pick up and drop off its students. The mom I talked with says that on Monday, her daughter had candy and chips with her, which the little girl should not have had. Her six-year-old daughter says the van driver stopped off at a store and got some or all the kids on the van a treat. The mom says that started to raise red flags for her and at least one other parent. Fast forward to this Thursday, the mom, who was working at the time, says her daughter was more than two hours late. It was around 5.45 she noticed she had several missed calls from her mom saying that the little girl still wasn't home. So now I'm frantic. I'm calling Valley again because that's the only number that I can call. Um, they answered the phone, they took my name and number. I mean, they took my name, they took my daughter's name. They tried, they put me on hold and said they were going to contact, try to locate the driver. She says she was on hold for more than 10 minutes and then she got a call from an unknown number. Once I clicked over, um, I hear screaming, nothing but frantic screaming of children. The person on the other end of the line took this video as the van pulled up with the children in it. <laughs> in the video, the driver says his phone went dead. The person recording the video then asks where they've been. You can barely make out the driver say that they stopped at the store and the kids were getting a lot of stuff. The person called the child's mom and let her know that she was safe. Meanwhile, our mom called Valley Transport back. And they were trying to say, well, ma'am, your daughter's dropped off. Yeah, she was. She wasn't dropped off purposely. She was ran out the car. You know what I'm saying? At, at this random person house. I stopped by Valley Transport on Friday and again Monday. I called the number and nobody's called me back yet. I also emailed the only contact listed but have not heard back. When you click on the contact page on the website, it says it does not exist. Now, I also called Cincinnati police to find out if there's been any criminal investigation launched into this incident, but so far I've not heard back. Now, we will stay on top of this and report back any updates that we receive. Megan, back to you. You can always find our local 12 stories right here on YouTube. Don't forget to tap subscribe and then you can get all the notifications.